Good morning, loves. Today is another day. It's another vlog. It's another day in the life. Okay, I gotta stop. Anyways, so I promised you guys that I was gonna keep vlogging the day before, but I did not. I had a very hard and emotional day yesterday, which I will get into later in the vlog. I wanna talk to you guys about what happened and the stuff that I still need to coordinate for Emma. So it was very emotional yesterday. It was very crazy and it was overwhelming. So I did not continue to vlog because of all the stuff that was going on with me, but I will continue a vlog today. And um, today is Wednesday. I'm gonna go to Marshall's or um, Ross because I need a calendar because there's gonna be a lot of planning and a lot of things that I need to write down for my little baby girl. And I just need to start planning out the day more and the week's more um, better than what I've been doing lately. So we're gonna go ahead and go pick up a planner. I tried picking one up on Target on Monday when you guys saw me uh, Target, but it was so expensive. They were like $13. I was like, okay, nope, that ain't gonna happen. $13, $14, I was like, for a planner, for paper. Um, Oh, are you okay, mama? Say hello. What did you fall? Emma's like super excited to go outside. She has not been out today, so she's really like, let's go, mom. Let's go. Let's go. So we're going to go ahead and take off. Hopefully she falls asleep on the way back because I still, have, there's a lot of stuff that I got to get done. I've been calling around for a lot of things, which I'll get into later because it's just too much to talk about. But let's go ahead and go to the start. guys i really couldn't videotape too much again because emma wanted my phone and she was just being really whiny but she was tired so we came home and i just put her to sleep i couldn't find a calendar which is what i went to look for and i couldn't find any of the stuff there at tj maxx or ross i'm extremely exhausted i just made myself some coffee and i'm over here working on my computer but i cannot find my I can't find my tripod anywhere and I need it to film. So yeah, how about that? I don't know, I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about um, what the doctor said and everything, but I can't find my tripod and I feel like I'm gonna be shaky the whole time if I don't get my tripod to talk to you guys. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. All right guys, I found it. I was doing a cleaning video the other day and I left it in Emma's room, so. That's what it was. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys about what the doctor told me. Um, basically, I, I'm i starting to, you know, trying to get Emma into ABA. That's taking forever and I have her in speech therapy. But she's also recommending OT evaluation, which is occupational therapy, which I had no clue that it was separate from ABA. So that's that. So we're gonna go ahead and start the process there. I just called Alta, which is you know the regional center that takes care of all that. So they're gonna try to give me an evaluation for that. And then also I'm going to be doing an feeding therapist because you know Emma's been decreasing in her eating. Like she, I don't know if it's a textured thing or what it is, but her eating has been decreasing significantly. I mean like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. She's not gaining any weight and it's just, I don't know what to feed her anymore. So they're requesting a feeding therapist, which I already kind of had a clue that I was gonna need to do that. And I was trying to get a feeding therapist, but I just didn't know where to go because the, Anthony's insurance and all that stuff. So they told me through Alta, which I just called and also told them that I want that process to be done but they said that it's really hard right now to get a feeding therapist that i guess the waiting list is pretty long but she's going to start the process for that anyways at least for an evaluation 
And in the meantime, I'm going to try with Anthony's insurance separately or maybe other places to see what, what they can do. I tried calling another place, but they, they said that they only cover through Kaiser, which is the insurance, and we don't have that. So yesterday, I left that appointment feeling so overwhelmed just because of the amount of appointments and i mean i'm i know if you guys are watching this you guys have kids with autism and you guys are probably going through the same thing maybe some of you guys are not following because of that maybe you're following because of my other channel but the ones that are going through this it's so much guys it is so much to take in so much things that we need to do for for our kids it's insane like it's a lot <laughs> So, um, basically that's what's going on right now. I felt extremely overwhelmed yesterday. That's why I didn't keep vlogging. I was very emotional and very stressed out as well as, um, Emma's been not feeling well. She's been a little bit sick. So to add to that, she's been really aggravated and really like sensitive fast. So basically she's been throwing like more fits than usual and yesterday she had a total meltdown at night because Anthony got her some little eggs um, for, you know, the Easter eggs. And she wanted to line them up perfectly. And with the carpet, she couldn't line them up perfectly. So she kept on trying to line them up and they would kind of slip a little bit because of the carpet. And she was just having the biggest meltdown ever. I just started crying like crazy and I couldn't stop myself from crying. I was feeling so emotional. But... I don't know. I just, I think I was just super emotional yesterday because of all the stuff that I have to do and plan. And I'm just such a horrible planner and somebody to take care of like what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm a procrastinator and I'm just not a very good, like, I guess like person to be on time with stuff and to remember appointments and to do all stuff, all that stuff. And then I, have to do so much and it's just so overwhelming and now I'm gonna have to be that planner I'm gonna have to be that task maker I'm gonna have to be like on top of stuff for Emma and it just felt really overwhelming because I feel like it's all on me I mean I know it's on Anthony also but he works you know what I mean and you're I'm at home so I have to do all this stuff there's like no excuse for me not to do it and just I don't know I don't know now I'm just blabbing but I'm just letting you know how I'm feeling. I'm feeling very overwhelmed, very like depressed, I can say, and anxious and nervous. And I just want the best for her. And it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. And you mamas know, you mamas and daddies that are autistic parents know how much work we're gonna have to put into our kids. And it's for their best for sure, it's just hard. <laughs> So that's where we're at with the whole um, thing. And then also um, it says she does think that she has ADHD also because she doesn't really stop. Like the whole time we were there, she kept on moving. She was like on top of things, climbing on stuff, just spinning, sitting, like even with toys, she was not really like just chill. So she does think that she has some type of ADHD, which I kind of figured she did just because she's so active. And then because Anthony has it and, I just, I kind of figured she would get it. I had, I don't think it's ADHD, but the lower one, I don't know. Anyways, I had that when I was younger and I still do, but not as bad as my husband does. So I kind of figured that she was going to get that. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys. And if you guys have any like suggestions for me, I always appreciate all you guys' comments and suggestions and um, tips on how to handle stuff. Um, I really do take all your comments into consideration and I really do attempt to to do what you, you tell me because I'm so new at this. <sighs> and if anybody else is watching this new to autism and raising a child with autism, definitely let me know, leave me a comment down below that I'm not the only one that's new at this, that I'm gonna get better at it, hopefully. <laughs> but I'm very, very overwhelmed. I made this video extremely long now. Bye. Let's go ahead and continue with our vlog.
So Adrian is fake doing his homework right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's doing his homework while Emma and Anthony are outside in school. And I took a nap because I've been feeling extremely sick. Anthony made himself some pizza because honestly, yo, Adrian, I cannot cook right now. I am so, so sick. Like all of a sudden when I was filming what I was telling you guys earlier, my throat started hurting more and then I started getting even more sick when I picked up Adrian. Like I felt like I was gonna throw up. I'm like, I hope that I do not have the flu and I'm gonna have to disinfect everything. Look at Anthony. Look at Emma. She has crazy hair, don't care. Look, she's running. Huh. I'm gonna go videotape her in a little bit, but I just wanted to let you guys know I'm feeling like this. Side with my regular shirt, PJ pants, sandals. Uh, nice hair. Did your daddy do your hair? Sure mm, nice. Your hair when you go Hi, Emma. Uh, nice. More. She say more. She was saying more. She's all dirty. <laughs> You dirty baby. You little dirty baby. How was work today, babe? Yeah, bueno? Yeah. How was work today, Emma? Oh, he's so cute. You love Dada, Mama. How come you don't run up to Mommy like that? Your butt. Anthony's trying to do Emma's hair. I don't know what's up with Anthony's hair though, but he's trying to be a greaser, he said. You're trying to be a greaser, right? Have you, ever guys, have you guys ever watched Outsiders? Mm -mm. Outsiders. What? How do you never watch Outsiders and say greaser? Anthony, have you seen Outsiders? Dang, the house is a wreck right now. <laughs> No, we have to show them that you suck in the beginning. He literally is trying to do my hair. I'm tired, guys. I feel sick. I have the man cold, and this guy is over here trying to you do my hair. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're pulling my hair. <laughs> Wait, dance, baby, dance. Dance with daddy. He thinks he has moves like Shakita, 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 Shakita. <laughs> <laughs> All right, white boy. <laughs> Orale, Miklo. Orale, Miklo. Eh, 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 eh. Let me see your little face. <laughs> Kitty, baby. Kitty, baby. Kitty, baby. Kitty, baby. It is the next day. I honestly feel so sick today. This morning I woke up. I, last night I had a fever all night. I had the chills. I was cold, hot, cold. That's why my hair is like all curly because I was putting like water in my forehead, like a uh, rag with water to try to like cool down. I was so, so hot. And Emma woke up with a rash this morning. Emma, come here, baby. See if she'll let me have you like. She woke up with a rash all over her body today. So let me see. Come here, mama. I know. Okay. Yeah. You guys can see it. So I have a doctor's appointment today at nine and then I'm gonna call for Emma to get a doctor's appointment at eight o'clock once they open up. Okay, baby, hold on. Um, but we're extremely sick over here and I just hope we don't have the flu. But I'm gonna call to make her a doctor's appointment. I already had a doctor's appointment because I was having like stomach problems last week. I don't know if you guys remember, but um, so that's why I have a doctor's appointment today. And I'm gonna have them check to make sure I don't have like the flu either. And then um, I'm gonna call to make a doctor's appointment for Emma. 
So prayers, guys, because we're all sick over here. I don't want to get Anthony or Adrian sick because Anthony has to go to work and Adrian has to go to school. So hopefully we're all okay. But I just wanted to come on here and end the vlog and let you guys know what's going on and how we're feeling. But deuces. See you guys next time on our next video.